Hello everyone, my name is Aaron Dowd with Archer Services and I'm one of the lead designers for our team here and I want to walk you through a simple front yard landscape makeover and this will show you uh, exactly how we went from this front yard uh, working over everything and so the homeowner has they wanted a, a new look a fresh look we're going to keep that existing tree on the left hand side here but you see things are kind of getting overgrown um, this is just after winter too so this definitely isn't the best time to look at things since so the grass is dormant everything there froze back in the front yard but then we translate into this design here as you can see the existing tree kind of silhouetted there on the right hand side everything in white there is the existing lawn that we're not touching but everything that's colored is what we're going to redesign here and this is what it will look like in the 3D after the 3D design is, is completed here. You can see um, you can see the different layers that we created, trying to keep things open and visible. You can see the existing tree on the left hand side and the different layers and colors and they also wanted to add that stone border. So I start out around the house, coming up immediately around the house there. And you can see that was over drawing over the existing picture of the front yard there. Um, I start out by doing a little gravel border around the foundation of the house to prevent any splash up and keeping soils away from it. Um, depending on whether a house has gutters or doesn't have gutters, um, how much water is splashing down will kind of depend on how wide that needs to be. Um, so I usually take each house in the instance. 12 inches is kind of a minimum, but I'll go up to even two or three feet if the overhang is big enough. And then here, getting into the outline, the shape of the beds. This sometimes takes a little while. It's about kind of looks and what feels right. Um, but I also take into consideration there, you see the property line on the left-hand side. Um, I don't want to get too close to that because that would affect the drainage flowing down between the two properties. Um, and just kind of outlining everything here. The homeowner wanted a raised stack stone border around the beds, so this is what this outline is for. We're going to do a natural flagstone, uh, what I call chop block stone border around these beds to raise them up about six inches. It prevents washout from the driveways and stuff like that. Um, now I'm creating my raised planter beds, so setting the elevations of those. And you can see everything here in 3D going to make some more touch-ups changing materials. You can see changing that material to gravel, changing this material now to a stone border around the property. And this is about three and a half times speed of versus reality. This design in real life took me about 20-25 minutes here to, to get everything done and that was after the house and the base plan was put in. So, um, of course I've done a lot of these front yards so definitely took longer to begin with that was the existing plant layout I was kind of looking at everything to see if there was any way that we could use any of the existing plant materials but with how mature everything was uh, I just didn't think there was anything good I just I thought let's start out with the first try to see if uh, we could just start from scratch so um, so kind of going through starting usually at the house I start out with by adding some sunshine ligustrums. I thought against the red brick they would really pop out. Um, I didn't think to start it all the way in that far left hand side. I wanted to keep it more centered in front of the windows. Um, so those are a bright yellow and then I just added in a I thought kind of a centerpiece around that bed would be real nice. I started out with a holly tree but I changed that later. Those pink symbols are annual flowers, uh, so that's my representation for annual perennial flowers. That would be really nice to pop out around that big curve and right there by the front entryway. I changed that holly now to pineapple guava. It's a little lower, rounder, softer shape. I thought that would be nice and it's kind of a grayish film on the, uh, the leaves are kind of like an olive green. Um, with the angle of the sidewalk the way it came in, I thought let's kind of maybe tweak these here and put them out of 45 rather than a straight. They'll actually almost look straight when you're pulling up the driveway just because the way everything is lined out. These are Agapanthus. Um, they just provide a nice pop of color, the beautiful blue flower that, that comes up on everything, and then some nice really low growing Nandinas, uh, maybe the Harbor Dwarf variety there. And then I always like to do a nice backdrop behind my annual color, so that's what this is here, a nice boxwood, maybe some baby gem boxwoods 
they stay real short and they grow real slow so I only need a few prunings a year to keep them at a good height um, but a nice green backdrop is just fantastic it makes that annual color pop out even more um, so then add another and I'm gonna add some one gallon boxwoods here because again trying to layer things down and we're getting pretty short there so I'll do some one gallon ones there kind of then figuring out what to do behind this here maybe to soften up that that boxwood hedge doing some little dwarf hamlin grasses they stay pretty short and then here's some blue rub junipers um, these guys are real nice nice evergreen ground cover so they'll grow real uh, just kind of fill out underneath that pineapple guava underneath there because of the direction of the house this is the north side of the house it's going to stay fairly shaded so the azaleas and some camellias will do pretty well um, we'll kind of wait to see and then that Japanese yew uh, is kind of a, a final point there on the end of the house uh, just to give kind of a, a good um, ending point to the edge of that bed spacing my plants out a little bit more around there and then you can see it here in 3d adjusting making some final adjustments on the elevations of the plants making everything I want to try to keep all this stuff real short um, being that this is not a deep front yard and the windows are so low. Touching everything up, deleting all the exterior stuff, and that's it. It's uh, really that easy. So hit like if you like the video, ask me questions. I'll definitely make sure to try to keep an eye on things, and I'll be happy to answer any design questions that you might have. Have a great one.